What is up, guys? Is your shot a little bit shaky like this? And you're missing a little bit? Well, practice makes perfect. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys five pro and really good tips to help improve your aim and really get that perfect aim. The aim that every player strives for. And make sure to stick around for the last tip because it's going to be a banger. So before I continue with this video, I do want to warn you guys. I know the audio with the mic is not going to be the best. Uh, my actual studio mic broke. So hopefully in the near future, and I'm talking about maybe in a couple days, I can get that fixed. But for the meantime, just bear with me, guys. So let's get straight into it. Tip number one, we're going to be talking about obviously controlling the recoil. Now, every gun in this game has uh, recoil patterns, right? So obviously, attachments are a factor when it comes to that. But just to say, just to so you guys can see, this recoil is like up left. Now it's recoiling up. This kind of recoil is just straight up a little bit slightly. So when you kind of understand the recoil pattern, for example, this just goes kind of up. It's a very basic recoil pattern due to the attachments I have. When I'm shooting at people, I know I don't really have to adjust much of the recoil, but I do have to hold down a little bit to get that very pinpoint accuracy and not really miss. So you can see, um, it's not... Ooh, lucky I have one more bullet on me. As you can see, I'm hitting pretty much every shot. Um, like I said, the attachments are helping me a lot, but if you can get a hang of the attachments and the recoil pattern, it's going to help you shoot a lot straighter and a lot better. And one of the best ways to do this is, first of all, is shoot at a wall at something where you can kind of understand what the recoil pattern is looking like. Once you understand that, for example, like I said, this is going up. All you have to do is make those adjustments. So now when I'm shooting at people, I hold slightly uh, down. Now, I don't go hard down because I know the adjustment has to be very uh, minimal. So, like, I just hold slightly. You just hold it a little bit low as you're shooting. And that takes a little bit of practice because, obviously, not only do you have to control it low, but you also got to kind of follow left and right. So while you're doing this, you know, it does take practice, and you're going to have to get a hang of this. But once you understand um, the recoil control and the recoil pattern, and you start really practicing and uh, for doing it well, you're going to notice that, like, you're not going to be missing. And this is just tip number one. Let's go to the next one. Now, for tip number two, we're going to be talking about strafing and basically leading your shots into your opponent. Because not always are you going to be standing still and just aiming at people, right? You move around the map, you're, you know, your hit movements. You're going to be maneuvering on the map and shooting at people. You're not only going to be always standing still. So a good tip for you guys is you want to strafe sometimes into them. You want to kind of strafe your shot into them. You don't really want to always control, you know, just moving your right and left. You want to strafe your body into them as well. So let's say my enemy is this guy right here. Let's say it was this, this window right here. Instead of doing this, I'm going to strafe. Let's say I'm looking at this. I'm going to strafe my shot into him. And I'm going to do a little bit adjustments left and right. I'm not really going to go so hard left and right. But I'm going to be strafing my body into him. Now, obviously, this isn't always, you know, this is situational. You don't use this every gunfight or you don't use this every time. But this is a good technique to be using in certain gunfights and certain situations. So use your strafe and your aim at the same time to help you have very precise aiming. And now that's why I think pro players and it's something pros are really good at. And any, like, very skillful player, they're really good at using their strafe to their advantage. So as you can see... Um, obviously, I'm hit, very accurate, not, not really missing any shots, and a part of that is I'm using my strafe. I use both my sticks when I shoot at people, and even though it's a little strafe sometimes, sometimes it's more than others, but I use both my sticks when I'm shooting at people, and it really helps me have a really good aim, and that's something that you guys kind of got to practice as well. Don't always rely, even if you're in the head glitch, like I'm in a head glitch right here, like yeah, it's nice, you want to stand still, but don't be afraid to like strafe back and forth and help help yourself man make it easier on yourself bro use both use your strafing kind of lead your shots into them and use your left and your your right stick to hit you know accurate shots you know you know the vibe like that and you're gonna notice as well a uh, when you do this that sometimes strafing will win you crazy gunfights when you don't even move your right or left stick and like literally just doing this strafing hard left or strafing hard right and it's going to win you some crazy, crazy, crazy gunfights. So for tip number three, we're going to be talking about something I always bring up. 
Woo! It's sensitivity. Now, sensitivity, I think, is a big factor, not only in Call of Duty, but in anything. Like, you need to have a good sensitivity that fits you and that will help you have consistency, right? Consistency in your shot, consistency in your aim. You need to have a good uh, sensitivity. That's pretty much uh, not much more to it. So we're going to go to controller settings real quick. I do play on controller, obviously mouse and keyboard. I mean, you just got to have the idea. You know, you want to play on a lower uh, DPI, whatever. Um, but so I play on 6.6. Six. Now, you can play on 5. You can play on 6, 7, 8. I wouldn't, I would stay around 5 to 8. I would not go higher than 5. If you're trying to compete at the pro level, I'll say 5 to 7. That was your, that's where you should kind of stick around. I play on 661 personally. Obviously, with the introduction to, you know, you can change your low zoom, high zoom. I think they introduced that last year or the year before that. You can play like 8 and then like go like 0.7 or whatever. But I just think 661 feels really good in this game. Um, it, it, it just helps, you know, you guys ask me like, Apathy, why don't you play on a higher sense? You know, well, what's so, what's so like important? Like, I feel like higher sense is better. No. Now here's why. Obviously, you know, higher sense, you can be, make more flashy play, plays. There are very rare and random situations where, yeah, the higher sense might have helped you get a kill, might have helped you, you know, win a situation. But if you play the game correctly, if you understand the situation you are, and you want to have a consistent and precise precise shot almost every single time because you're in a lower sense, it's easier to control, it's easier to manage, then you want to play on a slower sense. If I'm playing the game right, if I'm taking the right routes, if I'm positioning myself well, I, there should be almost, like, almost almost never, a thousand in, you know, a, a thousand times, maybe two times where the high sense would have helped me. I should be playing the game that good. So I do play on 661. This is the sensitivity I would recommend to most. If you want to, you know, go a little higher, maybe go seven. If you want to go a little slower, go to five. Then something else I want to talk about will be over here is the dead zone or the threshold as they call it here. I think the default when I first loaded the game it was 20. I think 20 is absurdly high. You should lower this down to five. I think five was default in Modern Warfare. I tried going back to zero like I did in the beta, but I was getting some uh, stick drift, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to stick to five. I think lowering this down, if, especially if you're a controller, is pretty important, and it, it makes everything feel kind of smoother and nicer. Your controller feels more responsive, and you definitely want that if you're playing on controller. Now, I was going to leave the best tip for last, but we're going to go ahead and skip it to number four because I think it's better we talk about it now before all of you guys leave because this is a banger and a very, very important tip when it comes to having great aim and seeing like a lot of players, you know, who are like, you're like, damn, how do you do that? Or damn, his aim is so good. So one of the biggest things pros do and just very skillful players, uh, we center a lot on almost anything and everything. Now, basic quick explanation of centering because I do this every year and I explain this pretty well, but pretty briefly. Centering is basically having your crosshairs and, you know, whenever you're running maneuvering running around the map you have your crosshairs where your opponent will be or you think he's going to be so you're always ready and prepared to snap or aim in or challenge the guy wherever he might be so when i play, run around the map i'm constantly centering so i'm centering here centering here centering here and uh you know you just basically center around the whole map you want to center here center here you're ready so basically like if a guy comes right here right now i'm centered aim in aim and shoot so centering is really important and something, like I said, uh, we all do. And it does take practice and the kind of muscle memory if you're not used to it. You know, to really, like, get it down, it just, it took me, even me a while when I first started competing to, like, really get centering down. But, you know, when you're moving, and the important part of centering, too, is, like, being really good with your centering. Don't be lazy with your centering. So don't be, like, you know, instead of centering, like, the middle of the hall, like, perfect, or, like, more to the, towards the steps. Don't like center like kind of lowish, kind of highish, like, you know, kind of like off. Like you want to be really precise because the more precise you are with your centering, the more snappy you can be and the more, you know, accurate you can be with your shots. So, you know, you go to the centering here, go up. And you also want to center with the, as the map goes. Oh my God. Oh my God. So if the map's going to go up, you want to go up, center up, then center back down. And you just got to kind of run around with the map. Now, centering is also something that shows the difference between a really good pro player and sometimes maybe not so good pro player, uh, basically because of their aim. So let's say I'm going to move, uh, push up the staircase, right? I'm going to center up, now center back down, and I keep my center in the middle of the screen or where I think people are going to be at. So my teammate calls out, hey, there might be a guy, you know, under the, under the, let's say under the plane. Be like this, center. Center like this, nothing. Okay, I go. Uh, I think he's pushing right. Okay, center right. Oh, he's there? Shoot. See what I mean? So, like, you want to center a lot based off call-outs, based off information, and obviously uh, where, where you're anticipating opponents and where you, th you think they're going to be. 
Now, something to help, like, especially novice or beginners, uh, what do you want to call it, centers, you know, help centering that, you know, maybe you're not so good at it and you don't do it well enough. Um, I think it's important, like, obviously, like I said, having a little bit slower sense, but also really focusing on it. And what I mean by focusing on it is, like, I can center, like, I can be kind of snappy because obviously I'm used to it. I'm used to, like, uh, control my sensitivity. I'm, I know all the tricks and tips to it. But when, you, when you're kind of starting or you're not the best at centering or you don't have the best aim, you can take your time. Like, you don't have to, like, you know, go crazy, go around, spin circles. So what that means by that, you can slowly maneuver and, and move your analog stick. So you can, like, center like this, go like this, go in, go like this. And you can kind of, like, control it slowly. Like, take your time. Make it, make it natural. Like, make it, you know, like, get it engraved in your brain, in your head. You know, like... Like that, like make sure you're controlling it, taking your time with the centering, you know, don't rush it, and just really like, it's, it's just like, a, it's an activity, it's like you're just working it out, like you're just working it out and just getting used to it, man. And once you really get this down, and you understand how important centering is, like it makes a huge difference, man, in any FPS, and hell, in any game probably, like that's a shooter game, you know, it makes a big difference and you will notice how like, Crazy gunfights or random gunfights, you're gonna be able to snap on people. Like you're gonna be centering, and then he's gonna come out of nowhere. Oh, and you, and you kill him! Like look right there, that that time was actually hilarious. Like that was perfect timing. But you're just gonna be able to snap on people, and I think this is one of the most important things when it you know comes to having good aim. On top of obviously like everything else that I've told you guys so far, but this is a very very important good tip that will not only help you have better aim but it will help you win a lot more gunfights now for the last tip and this is tip number five and it, you know it might be a little bit cheesy but it's very true there's no shortcut there's no you know giving you tips and obviously all this information is extremely important i hope you guys soak it in and really pay attention and listen to what i'm telling you guys because these are really big things and one of the best tips i've always come up with and came up with to tell you guys so you guys can improve and especially if you want to have better aim but there's no other shortcut then you know you just got to practice and you got to put in the time and you got to play the game not only do you got to practice these tips that i told you guys and you know you can practice it in uh shooting bots like i am you can practice it in a custom game with friends uh you can practice it just in regular pub matches whatever you want to do wherever you want to do but you got to practice them you got to grind you got to put in the time you got to play a lot you know this is one of the reasons and one of the biggest reasons and uh, why I have really good aim. Like, I could I could have all these tips, but let's say I barely play the game, right? Like, let's say just, just now in general. Let's say, you know, I, I, I know all these tips, but I've been barely playing the game. Like, my aim's going to be a little off because I just don't grind a game. I'm not used to these, you know, situational gunfights. I'm not used to a lot of these things because that's how this game is sometimes. You know, you get used to the situational gunfights. You get used to the head glitches. You get used to a lot of things. And your aim becomes even better in specific games. So... You guys gotta, you know, if you want, like, put put a bot lobby, man. It's a little bit difficult in this game because the bot lobby don't really have much options. There's, you, there's not much you can do and not many settings you can put into the game, which kind of sucks at the moment. But I'm sure they'll update that in the future. But just grind the game, man. Put in the time. Go play pub matches. Get into engagements. Fight a lot of people. Don't camp. You know, really push yourself and, and you test yourself. Like, yeah, you know, especially if you don't have the best aim, you might struggle a bit. But it's all good. It's, it's all a learning experience. It's all about practicing. And, you know, you just got to think about the future, man. It's not It's not, It's not. not going to be, you know, not in one day you're going to get amazing, you know. To, you know, with these tips, like maybe in the first day you notice a difference, especially if you apply them. But you just got to play the game grind the game get into a lot of high engagements go to pubs you know just try to find people and shoot at people and apply it to the stuff i said just really think about it as you're playing and you know the centering you know the strafing with the controlling the recoil all these things man and you're gonna notice a big difference in no time trust me guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to like the video please guys it helps a ton it helps me and it supports me i'll be doing more tip videos in the future if you'd like to see some more and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well i do apologize for the mic quality i know it isn't the best and it, I, I i hate i hate i hate posting bad quality videos but i won't be getting a new mic probably for a couple days so you know i just gotta do what i gotta do and i want to share some love share some things with you guys because i know a lot of you guys you know need some help you guys are still learning you guys are you maybe just got the game you're not really you know Maybe you don't have the best aim. Well, that's what I'm here for, baby. Much love, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, like I said. And I'll see you next time. Holy, that was long. <laughs> Peace out.